I'll be posting stuff on Instagram. My Instagram account is Carl on Base Comics with an X on the end. And I'll be making YouTube videos. So let's get right into it. <clears throat> Here is ASM 307, part of the Todd McFarlane run. I'm trying to uh, complete the run from like whatever his run is, 298 to 330, something like that. And man, is this one in great condition. The spine is just like perfect on it. Trying to finish my X-Men run from 94 to 300 mainly the burn run but yeah here's 50, 159 which is a Bill Sienkiewicz cover and interior art it was before his new mutants phase where he got a little freaky and edgy but still really good art all these X-Men books are really high grade number 128 burn cover and interior art Really cool one. Uh, I had one for the longest time, but finally found a high grade. 122, same story. Cockrum cover, burn interior art. And 95. <clears throat> I have 96 through 99. Still missing 100, 101, and 103. And then I think 120, which is the first Alpha Flight cameo. Uh, and of course 94 and giant size I had a copy of giant size and 8.5 CGC ended up selling that along with all my other slabs when I came out of the hobby to uh, produce money for investments and other things that's probably a book that I'm going to repurchase giant size one and uh, maybe one day I'll have a decent copy of 94 but uh, Man, I searched all over, up and down eBay, for a decent copy of this, you know, without having to pay an arm and a leg, and uh, found this for $140. i would call it a 8 or 8.5, probably a VF 8.0. Pretty sure it was pressed. <clears throat> it's got a pretty nasty little crease here, a discoloration. I don't know what's going on there. But the spine is in real good shape. The press is... Uh, obvious and it makes it a really nice copy so i feel like after pricing it on ebay i feel like i got a great deal on that and happy to have such a iconic early x-men or early x-men in the new x-men phase so here's cuckoo comics number 41 this has the frank frazetta text illustrations there are some little short stories in there funny stories about animals that he drew a single accompanying cartoon for and he went by the pen name Fritz. So there's no actual comic panel art in here by him. Just two or three little stories with a single image. And uh, he did a lot of those in these Cuckoo comics. I have three copies and I'll scoop them up forever. As long as I can find them at a good deal. Here's Durango Kid number seven. This has one story with Frank Frazetta art. I think it's a white Indian story. This is from 1950. Had a slab version of this, I think in 9.0, which I obviously ended up selling. Um, but I'm more happy to have a raw copy in really good shape. I'd call this a 8.0, maybe 7.5. It's got a slight spine roll. You can't tell from the front cover. And there's an A written right here. <clears throat> Don't know what the story is there. But I think what I'll do is show the interior art on these two Frazetta books as well as the next one, the back cover to the next one at the end of the video. Here is Mad Magazine number 106. Frazetta did quite a few back covers for Mad Magazine in the 60s. And um, in fact, I think it was number 90, he did a painting of Ringo Starr on the back cover, which gained him a lot of attention at the time and gave way to him doing these movie posters, which he became pretty well known for. So uh, I try to scoop up all these. I think there are three or four of them that he's done back covers to. And last but definitely not least is National Lampoon Magazine, August 1973, with Frazetta's Ghoul Queen piece on the front. What a piece of art. I've been searching for this one for probably five, six years and never could find a decent copy that matched a reasonable price. So I finally did. I think the person was asking for 130, 140, 
ended up paying 90 for this and it's the highest grade copy I could find on eBay and uh, I even went through sold listings and there was nothing close to it in probably the last six months to a year so yeah love for Zeta art <clears throat> I think I always will so I hope you guys enjoyed that haul and look forward to more I'll definitely be putting out some more and we'll see you next time